Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Autumn has come to upstate New York, and we find ourselves in New Era Field in Orchard Park. The folks in Buffalo love their bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their bills will do battle with the Miami Dolphins. Hello, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. Now, they've lost three straight here, and it goes without saying, I guess, they could certainly use a win. And how do they get a win? Because they've lost three straight, I think it's paramount that they get a fast, clean start to this game. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they've come in on a nice run of recent form, four wins out of five. toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This fielded at the 2. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And here's a look at their leader. Standing 6-4. And this could be a whole lot of fun because... If his game plan goes into effect early, we're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section. What did the columnists write? Possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave away the game plan? I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. And here now a look at the Dolphins' offensive unit. I remember when Laramie Tunsil was coming out of Mississippi and I was evaluating him for the draft in 2016. Ended up writing down a description that I tended to like, and I'm going to use it here now. He's got feet like a receiver. He's got a body like an offensive lineman and hands like a boxer. Put it all together, you got a heck of an offensive lineman. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Throwing on first down, Hammer. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. On the defensive side, this is the starting lineup for the Bills. Coming into this one, ranked number 19 in the NFL against the Pats. What they lack in pass defense, they do make up for in run defense. They're a top 10 unit against some people trying to move the ball on the ground. But this is a passing league, so there's a conundrum for them. How do they get better defending the pass? Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing again, Hammer. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that block. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in, and he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 28. On first and 10, Hammer. It's complete to Drake. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And this is complete. It's Allen. 
And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Again, he'll drop the throw. Looks for Parker, and it's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. He was looking for Parker that time. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. So after the INT, it's Allen. And his throw here's incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown. And it's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Allen going to throw again. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. They run with a former Jaguar. It's T.J. Yeldon, and he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Looking downfield for Jones. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rashad Jones. So a pretty shaky start here for both sides. Yeah, each quarterback's throwing a ball to the other team. Do you think on both sidelines, they're sitting them down and saying, okay, remember, this is the color jersey we're wearing. <laughs> they're wearing the other color. Let's make sure we get it to our guys, please. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker, and they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On first down, Hammer, and he hits Drake. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. We're scoreless after one. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Now this one complete on the slant route, and he gets it down to the 32. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Third down, Hammer. And he finds Stills complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five, and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Lorenzo Alexander. Leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. And he's got it, and he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Mike Gesicki, his first touchdown on the year, as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have, and you absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Now a first down run is sniffed out from the start as he'll drop him for a loss of four. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now Allen throwing over the middle but it's incomplete. T.J. Yeldon, the one he was looking for. And yeah, that'll make it third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Play action. Now it's Allen. 
Looking downfield for Jones. That's caught inside the 20. A big play here for the Bills. 63 yards. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Allen finding his tight end, Croft. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. To throw again on second down. Allen, and that's going to be intercepted by the pro bowler, Xavier Howard. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. Throwing on first down. Hammer. He's going to have the first down past the 20. And they will finally get him down to the 27-yard line. Let's go. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, and they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back. But that's one step in the proper direction. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, able to break that one up. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's the perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. On first and ten. Hammer. And Stills bringing it in. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Back to throw. Hammer. It's complete to Grant. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer, and likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. And Oliver. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. 
A breakdown by the O-line at the worst possible time. Fourth and goal, and it leads to a sack. And I can just see it now that on the sidelines are telling the quarterback, you've got to get rid of it somehow, some way. At least get it in the end zone and give us a chance. If we throw an interception, so what? A sack? We didn't even have a chance. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven. We'll get started up at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, and it's the Bengals who are out in front. The red rifle, Andy Dalton, has a touchdown pass. From there, it's over to our nation's capital to check on the Redskins at home at FedEx Field. And they've got the lead in that ball game over the visiting 49ers. Paul Richardson, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's motor up to the Motor City. See what's happening with the Lions at home at Ford Field. And it's the visiting Minnesota Vikings who are out in front. Dalvin Cook, the lone touchdown there as he's cashed one in on the ground. Meanwhile, in our game, just the lone touchdown accounting for all the scoring. A tight one, 7-0 is the score. And for the call of the second half, we send it back to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Well, a couple of good division battles coming up in primetime this weekend, starting tonight with Sunday night football, Eagles and Cowboys from AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Then tomorrow on Monday night, it's the defending champs, the Patriots on the road at MetLife Stadium to take on the Jets. Two not to miss to close out week six. On first down, Allen. going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Bobby McCain. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for them. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Counter play, Drake. And he gets it down to the 32. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Hammer. It's complete, Stills. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. Quarterback was hit. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Allen going to throw. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Christian Wilkins in there to drop him, and that will go in the books as the first sack of his young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. Here's Allen. And he finds Beasley complete. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. 51 yards on the punt there. And it'll be Dolphin football. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of success. And pick your phrase, pick your code words, your buzzwords, whatever, vertical stretch, deep passes, go routes, right? What, what's that Why? you love? What's that oh, four you love? verts. Four verts. All of it working because they're able to find ways to get deep and for him to show off that big, big arm. We see some of that big arm right here. He has been great. Now the pass hauled in by Kenny Stills. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. Nowhere to escape and he goes down. Off the edge, Jerry Hughes gets the sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards that time. This quarterback now... Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Flushed out right. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here now is second and ten. Again from the 41. To throw again. Hammer. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And that will be incomplete as well. There was the pressure you were talking about, forcing incompletion. And it doesn't always have to end in a sack, does it? Sometimes you can make a good play by forcing the incompletion with the pressure. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. On fourth down, Hammer. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Star Latulale. And the Bills are going to get the football back. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. Again, it's Yeldon. He'll get three up to midfield. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. 
The Bills on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. From midfield, here's Allen. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll go with a big bank, Yeldon. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. So now the Dolphins set to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're taking it right down Broadway. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Mike Gesicki with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the cue being is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. now to kick this one away and off it goes this is taken at the three and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Throwing now is Allen. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Allen now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Allen's throw is complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Allen to throw once more. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 37. Allen going to come to the line here first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And again, it's Allen. And the grab by Croft. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Bobby McCain. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. A pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. On second down now. It's Drake, and tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Looking to throw. Hammer. And got his man complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 
Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long, and I would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. They run it with Balazs. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. Back to throw. Hammer. He'll buy some time right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 28. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. That one looks like he'll throw here. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Here's a run with Balazs. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Another shot from the one on second and goal. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins, and they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I mean, uh, did you know, enough though, did enough, but yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So for Miami, their strong start to the year continues as they're up to five and one. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Bills, they can't quite seem to turn things around as they fall into two and four now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us.